Swami Vivekananda's birth anniversary is celebrated today, and it's a great occasion. It's a great festival. It's a great uh, penetrating ideological thinking, creative thinking for all the youths of the country, and I wish them all the very best. Swami Vivekananda said, "The world is the great gymnasium." where we come to make ourselves strong. The world means your own house. It's a great gymnasium. And if you know your house, you know the world. Like somebody went and asked the saint, there is a lot of problems in this world. And how do I contribute to create peace in this world? And the mother said, Go back to your house and first create peace. When I heard Swamiji's, the world is a great gymnasium where we have come to make ourselves strong. I was in London way back in 1989. <coughs> and I was practicing in the Christian Palace and in the Wimbledon. And I went to Manchester for my kickboxing. And I stayed in the Tokai Martial Arts Center where varieties of activities are going on. And I used to travel for an Aikido class, a Japanese old man was taking an Aikido class. So coming back, uh, <clears throat> my, one of my practicing mates, he was an English boy, they're coming in the London subway and sitting next to him, I was telling a lot of philosophy because I came from a yoga background. <clears throat> so after hearing all this, he's telling, when a man is poor and it is hungry, philosophy comes of his own. <laughs> I was very angry with him. And then he looked at me, yes, I was hungry also. Angry man is an angry man. I was not angry, I was hungry. And I was poor also, you know, running around to learn so many things. So many things, and then I found out it's all available over here. So this COVID time, we came to Devanali Ashram, and then there's no other work. Everything is shut down. So I decided to go to the Goshala with my kids, where we take care of the cows. Early morning, it's very cold, very very cold, and still we go there because the cows have to be woken up by around 4:30. 4, they used to wake wake the cows by 2:30. I said, no, no, it's not possible. 4.30 is okay. 4.30, we wake them up, we clean up the whole cow shit. The freezing temperature, we ca carry the jacket and all the things. And halfway through, I removed the jacket, everything, just a plain one, small shorts and a small t-shirt. That is sleeveless t-shirt. Cleaning the floor and the cow dung. And we were cleaning up the cows, scrubbing the cows, milking it. And by around 5.30, 6, 6.30, I see, People are with their shoes and all running in the street. I was thinking, I was getting very angry. Why don't I give them warning? I was thinking, what's the bubble these running when there's so many work in the house? Why are these people running in the street? What are they getting? The world is a great gymnasium. The house is a great gymnasium where we could where we come to make ourselves strong. Once you make yourself strong, the whole world uh, is yours and you're appreciated. You don't fear the world. My experience was such. <clears throat> I'll travel to so many countries. Every time when I come down to Bangalore, I have to go and stay in Holiday Inn. It's a five-star hotel in Bangalore. To get out of the culture shock. <laughs> so after staying there for around three, four days, then I go to Jindal Nature Care Center and get a massage and all done and then come back to my children. But I, I was not in the home. I did not have a house. So I was in a shed. I continued to meet the children who just come to learn something from me. And they are all from rich classes or middle class. But uh, no interaction with the homely atmosphere. So I, I used to read a lot of books anywhere I go. So every time when I travel from London to India or I go, come from Japan or from, from any countries, whenever I come in the immigration, in the customs, They'll check, they were shocked. The amount of materials I'm allowed. Sometimes I carry in cargo also. 
when he went to take my things, the customs officer was shocked. He was in cargo means I'm carrying a lot of materials. You open the bag out the bag, books. <laughs> I buy my whole life, all my money. Even if I don't have money to eat food, I buy books and I go to as many libraries as I read and read and read. I bring all the books. I read a lot. And I thought I know everything in the world. Now I can leave the world. I am the master. And suddenly one day I decided to start the school for the blind. And for a second I was shocked. When I come from foreign countries, nobody is there to get me a cup. And we are not used to that getting a cup in there. When I started this school, these children, the moment they enter the house, they rush up, get me a cup of water, they get me tea, they take the cup, go and wash it. If, I, if at all I leave my, I didn't have a room, I, I never bothered to have a room because my children needs room. We don't have much room, so anywhere I go and sleep. In case I leave my, usually I, when I take bath, I make sure I wash, not only I wash, I wash all my children. I give bath to all my children, wash all the clothes. Then I go dry it up, then I go. But sometimes if I leave it there, when I come back from, the, from teaching, and I look, my dress is not to be seen. They already washed, ironed it up. I was shocked. First time I'm seeing. The world is a great gymnasium, my house is a great gymnasium. It made me very strong on the Goshala when I was working. It made me very much loving. I was searching for love. Nobody gave me love in the house, in my relatives. Everywhere I was pushed out. I thought I will never get love. This is the world. But I could feel the children running and catching my hand. <laughs> catching my hand. They, when I'm eating food, they take my plate, run and wash it up. I was thinking, oh, how could they do it? I was trying to dishwash. And today when I saw this quote, it made me think, yes, what Swamiji said is correct. Swamiji, the world is a great gymnasium. People suddenly started running to London like me, to Japan, to Malaysia, to Singapore, to Indonesia. Our countries of Kuwait, countries of the countries, we were running thinking, the world is a great gymnasium where we come to make ourselves. We've got to make ourselves strong. Without learning anything, I could hit anybody. I'm not frightened. I don't look at a man big or small. The moment I started practicing going around the world, so many rules and I became very weak. And suddenly when I went to the Gosha lab, I started scrubbing cow. Bow, boom, boom, boom. My bow, I became very strong, <laughs> taking the cow down. And I could walk and move around. The, the 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 what do you call the mist is so powerful sometimes from here five feet we can't even see we can't even walk and i'm walking with the shorts and just a small sleeveless t-shirt i could practice because they want the hard labor in the goshala from there to my children in my school rakum school it was even now even now sometimes i, I worry oh my god they make food put it in, they stand and put it into my plate this is not Possible in any part of the world, you will be kicked out. Go back to the house. Somebody said the world is a great gymnasium. The house is a great gymnasium where you could allow to become very strong. Sit next to your dad and your mom. That is the strength which a wife and your husband. From there, when you sit, you understand this is the world, my family is the world. And the family will connect you to joint family, which is a real world. 45 minutes of the slow fire cooking, the juice comes out and then stands on the family. Together we can knit this family and live a happy life.